So let's kind of go back to, I gave you this, 2, 4, 6. What's the next number? And most of you will probably say, oh, well, it's going to be 8. Some of you who just saw the Fibonacci's, well, 4 plus 6 is 10, and then 6 plus 10 is 16, and then 10 plus 16 is 26. Because 2 plus 4 is 6, and it fits the Fibonacci sequence also. This is why I want to stress that you have to give kids enough information so that they can see what the pattern is. There could be multiple answers if they use different kind of, of um, calculations. So let's do this one. 2, 4, 8. What's the next number? Well, 2 to 4, you could say, well, I'm adding 2, and then I'm adding 4, and then I'm adding 8. So you're adding whatever the number is, or you can just say you're doubling it. So that's going to make this 32, and then 64. So this sequence is that you're doubling every time. Well, now let's look at some kind of weird patterns. Let's do this one. 4, 7, 10, 13. What are the next numbers in the sequence? Well, I'm going up by 3, so this should be 16, this should be 19, and this should be 22. And then that would continue on and on. So here, for patterns like this, we can kind of make an equation for them. And with that equation, we can pull out um, like numbers up ahead. So if this is my first number, and this is my second number, and this is my third number, so all of these in red, that's what place the number is. Way out here somewhere is my 20th number. And I want to know, what is that? So I could just figure out the pattern and then go up the sequence and, and find out what that is. Or we can use this formula, which is capital N is equal to S plus D times little n minus 1. So, the capital N is your number in the sequence. That's these numbers. Lowercase n, and I'm going to actually use red because that's what I wrote them in, is your place in the sequence. So it's the first number, the second number, the third number, the fourth number, the fifth number. So even though they're both numbers, one is you're doing a count. In the other, you're actually doing the number that you're manipulating. So then, the D, that's your difference. We're adding 3 every time. And your S is your starting number. So this formula, n equals s plus d n minus 1, should kind of make sense of exactly what we're doing. 
we're starting at 4, we're adding 3 over and over and over and over again. So repeated addition is multiplication. So why is it n minus 1? Well, I haven't added 3 here. I've only added 3 at the second number. So if I put 2 in here, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 that I've added. So at the fifth number, 5 minus 1 is 4. I've added 1, 2, 3, 4, 3s. So that's why this is n minus 1, is because we don't add 3 for the initial number. We start adding 3 at the second number. So we're starting at a certain number. We're adding something to it over and over again. And this is how many we're adding to it. So the 20th number <coughs> should be n is equal to, I'm starting at 4. I'm adding 3 20 times, but I'm going to subtract 1. So I'm starting at 4, and I'm adding 3 times 19, because I'm adding 19 threes to get to the 20th number. So n is equal to 4 plus 3 times 19 is 57, so that's 61. So the 20th number is 61. Well, now we can go the other way. Let's say these are all, I'm adding 3 over and over again. So these numbers are multiples of 3 plus 1. So 4 is 3 plus 1, 7 is 6 plus 1, 10 is 9 plus 1, 13 is 12 plus 1. So they're all multiples of 3 plus 1. So a multiple of 3 is 99. Plus 1 is 100. So now what I want to do is 100 is in this sequence. What place is 100? Well, 100 is my n. I'm starting at 4, I'm adding 3, and then it's n minus 1. I just have to know how many 3's am I adding. So I subtract 4 from both sides, and I get 96 is equal to 3 n minus 1. I'm going to write it over here. So I'm going to divide by 3. So I get 32 is equal to n minus 1, add 1, and I get 33 is equal to n. So the 33rd number is 100. So now let's try something else.